So one of the biggest surprises for Valhalla was who invited Kratos, right? Why is Kratos there? He got this mysterious invitation, and when you get to the top of Valhalla, you discover that it's none other than Tyr. The invitation was yours. I would have signed it, but it was important you come here for your own reasons. Right from the beginning, we knew that Tyr was going to be your ultimate test. When you play Ragnarok and you meet Tyr for the first time, you think you're going to fight this character. You see them standing up, you know, Tears is so intimidating. And then, you know, in typical San Monica fashion, we uh, change expectations and we subvert them. But I think a lot of people kind of play that game. They're like, oh, what, what if Kratos and Tyr sparred it out? And uh, we wanted to dig into that and really like figuring out how does Tyr fight? What's that relationship? Because they're, they are sparring. It's a very different relationship than we've ever seen Kratos, you know, fight against someone else. Yeah. Um, exactly. And Tyr kind of bringing this almost worldly knowledge from all the places he's visited, right? Well, that was one of the things we really wanted to do with Tyr to showcase how he, the history behind him traveling to all these different places, right? So that's why we have these different weapons that he brings out from different uh, locations in the world. Yeah, those intros. Every time I saw the animations yeah. for the intros where he's pulling out the different weapon and everything. As soon as that started coming online, we were like, we we're getting pretty hype about it. If you notice for folks that have a keen ear, they will hear some uh, slightly different tunes when each weapon is introduced that is uh, kind of tied to the weapon as well. And, uh, and then his styles of combat change. I think you'll enjoy it, if that's the word. The gameplay mechanics actually are influenced by the region that he's kind of bringing uh, to each part of the fight. We also play around with some mechanics that are a bit different than fights that you would have in the base game. Yeah. And ultimately, it's like two God of Wars going at each other, Exactly, right? so that's one of the biggest things is that when you think about the whole franchise, Kratos has only, even though it's called God of War, he's only confronted Ares, another God of War. Not until now has he had an opportunity to, to go and, and you know fight it out with another God of War. Yes, a completely different context, right? Whereas with Ares was about a completely different thing, revenge. Now this is more about personal growth and challenging himself to master himself, to get him to the next step in his life, which is a super exciting uh, way to reframe this epic battle with another God of War, right? That was distinct, but at the same time brings it full circle. Every time you beat him, right, and you you know you press R3, oh, you kind of go up yes. and you got that moment where the, the punch oh, you know, yeah. gets caught and then yeah. they get to do the arm um, shake again. That was completely intentional. We wanted to do the reverse of what happened in Ragnarok, where, you know, Tyr's helping Kratos up. Now Kratos is the one helping Tyr up. Tyr was definitely uh, a lot of fun to bring to life, and hopefully all of you enjoy fighting them. <laughs> Thank you.